All right, man, you're now tuned into the Hip Hop Uncensored Podcast, episode 334. I'm your brother, Oh God, from Hip Hop News Uncensored. Sitting across from me is my co host. What up, what up? It's your man, Sam Ant Viral. Hip Hop News. What's good with y'all on this beautiful Friday, episode 335, I believe, of the baddest goddamn podcast. I had a yeah, day, yeah, man. no doubt. Yeah, We're in the building. Oh God, quarantine day number 10 for Jersey. What's good, my brother? Oh man, happy, excited to be in the building. You know, today, man, it's um not a lot of movement going on, but there are some headlines that's coming through that we have to share with the people today. Now, French Montana, Sam, and I was showing you this moments ago when we seen this. We actually seen 50 Cent yeah. post it up, but I seen something earlier on Instagram, and I didn't know if it was true or not, but now it's confirmed that a woman has pretty much come forward on French Montana, my French Montana and his employee and pretty much accusing him of sexual assault. Now, according to the blast who got the paperwork, they're pretty much saying that an unidentified woman says that she was actually raped in French Montana's home on March the 28th of 2018. Now, she's pretty much saying that she met him at an L.A. studio. Um, she took some drinks since they went back to the crib. She says she uh, pretty much went to the room. Things happened. She said she was in, 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 uh, intoxicated. She don't know what really happened, but she does remember a lot of different men coming out of the room. Then she goes on to say, saying, man, that she felt pain in her pelvis, lower back, and vagina, and began crying hysterically because she felt she had been drugged and raped. Now, she did, to the people that are going to ask, subsequently have a rape kit administered at Kaiser Permanente Medical Center, which they did find traces of semen. And she did report this to the police because that's the first thing people want to say. Did she go to the police? She did. Now, the traces of semen have not been confirmed to be French Montana's yet or anybody's there. We don't know that part of the story. But um, she's coming after him right now and his friend for this. And it looks it looks very, very serious, by the way, Sam. Man, what do you think about this story coming down now on French Montana, bro? This is crazy. A couple years ago. It doesn't look good. Um, a story can definitely be one that people can relate to if they listen to lyrics of certain rappers and things like that, Ooh. especially during that era. Who? But let's talk That's about that. I ain't gonna put you on spot like that. I mean, he lost Reebok endorsements <laughs> and shit for that shit, so <laughs> I ain't gonna put any more fuel to that. Right, right. It is what it is. But there are some facts and things that we gotta pay attention to. Um, she said that she felt as though she might have been drugged. Did she take a drug test, a nine panel see what was possibly in her system at the time? That's a good You know what I mean? Yeah. During the time a rape kid can um find semen, but sexual intercourse can prove or provide semen. So was any force? Do we know the logistics or the, the particulars in of uh, involving that situation to kind of automatically go, Yes, this right. woman no was doubt. sexually assaulted. Um you want to give sensitivity to all parties involved. You want to give sensitivity in particular to this woman if, in fact, this was going on. And like I said, there's a lot of evidence that will kind of go and highlight that, yeah, this shit kind of stuff went down, still goes down, whatever. So we just got to pay attention to it. Don't know if it was French or not. But if, in fact, this is all true, oh, God, black eyes for French all day long. And it's don't look good at all. Definitely a black guy now. She's suing him. Um, my thing is... You know, if this really happened and it's 100 percent credible, why the police didn't bring any charges up just over two years ago? Yeah. I would like to know that. We would like to know who semen, obviously, that was. And like you said, what was in her system? Was she just drinking? Because she also pretty much goes on to say, like, yo, this is something that he does. Like he plots out him and his home, which plot out on women at the bars and different places. They pick him out, they bring him back, give him as much drugs, just her words, mm -hmm. as much alcohol as they want. She also even went on to say, like, they might even be slipping stuff and getting, you know, and that's what she said. So it's a culture of that. We know that we had rappers that said that in the past, in particular one, mm -hmm. Rick Ross. You know, he said something. He was reprimanded for that. And I think he apologized for actually using that lyric. But um, it happens, bro. I'm not saying that he did it. Right. I'm not saying this woman is credible. It's on the table right now. And it's something that he's definitely going to have to deal with. Man, this is crazy. Real crazy. And I mean, you just gonna have to pay attention to it and see that is what it is. Yeah, yeah, you know definitely, I mean? definitely, man, definitely, no doubt. What was I gonna say about that situation in French and, and, and involved in her that I wanted to bring attention on? Involving, oh yeah, um, as far as the roofies, 
and things like that, that'll definitely show up and that'll kind of give a highlight to what was going on that evening. And if this but happens, roofies, I mean, people. I mean, Molly, like, isn't it the new thing now? Are they still people still giving roofies at this point? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's I mean, crazy. I, when, when was the last time I worked in a club? A couple of years back, people were still getting roofies. It was people. Damn. It was alleged that bartenders were doing it to people back in the heyday during the murmur days and things like Did that. Did it show up in, the, in your drugs and your system, Rufy? Um, I believe so. It would. Wow. So, yeah, why not get that proof as well just to kind of stamp it and go, yeah, this did happen. This, I don't know. You would think, though, like if she went to the police and they did a rape kit, I'm pretty sure, I'm not even 100% positive, that a blood test. You had to be here. Yeah, I mean, especially you going to, they send you to the hospital. They're going to take your blood, your semen, whatever, anything they could take. Yeah. You know, she got up, said she had pain and things like that. Now, again, there, this has happened. It's we happened. have been places where we've seen close to things that could have happened like this, and people do all types of crazy stuff. We know we're not going to sit up here on a platform and act like we're just green as hell. Nah, we ain't seen different things. Like and you, like I said, yeah. you used to work in a club, so you know it's more than anybody down. else yeah. about this going down. So um, we got to see. You know where this goes right now. It's just an allegation out there. French Montana may come out and say, "Look, this is 100 percent false. She's lying. She wanted it. Who knows? We'll mm -hmm. see." Yeah, and hopefully, if this is in fact true, she has more proof. And if it ain't true, look, just let it play out and we'll see what happens. Yeah, yeah. Before we get out of here, though, real quick, family, everybody, if you want to get your music on the platform right now, you see a lot of people, you know, um, wanting to post their music up, and you've seen the artists that we've promoting thus yeah. far. Yes, sir. You get. Two songs posted on our platforms and a 20-minute interview. Hit us up. Hit me up right now. Oh, God, at hiphopun.com and or, and or hit Sam Man up at dlsmedia1 at gmail.com right now. Indeed, man. Y'all know what to do. Now, oh, God, just to be clear, it's one song on two platforms, right? Or two songs on two platforms. We give them. Two I thought it was two songs. I thought it was two songs in an uh, interview. Two songs in an interview. You hear that? Oh, God, we give it Wasn't two it? songs. In an interview mm -hmm. for the people, just so y'all clear to promote y'all work on the platform, man. I wouldn't mess up or, or or fuck up on this deal. Go get it and make sure it's hot. You know what I'm saying? Please, yeah. Just don't, you know. Because the thing is, it's like you want to, you got to believe in yourself. You can't just put anything together and throw it out to the people. Put something that you know is a good product out there, and the people will appreciate. It, is all I'm gonna say. Indeed, indeed, we got Kansu hitting us up, letting us know when we're ready, man. We're about to transition to the live sure. edition of the podcast you guys that are listening right now you sit back relax and enjoy we're about to get busy on the uncensored shoot podcast hip-hop uncensored yeah. the official channel guys subscribe to that as well as viral hip-hop news hey man this is sam man viral hip-hop news oh god hip-hop news uncensored we'll see you in a minute peace yeah man definitely definitely it's printed up man they just like just put a couple zeros on the keyboard man it's okay it's done <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah, man. I'm gonna I'm formally uh, get the show started now since we oh, have okay. my fault, man. Hey, what up, y'all? What up, man? Peace. All right, man. We get it rolling. All right, man. You're tuned into Financial Fridays with your Go. brother. Oh, God. Sam, man. Kansu and Darren Marion, man. Hey, Sam, man. How you doing tonight, bro? I feel blessed, man. I feel real good. It was a beautiful Friday afternoon out here in Jersey where we lay our heads at, man. Everything shut down. Ain't nothing going on yet. Right. But all in all, it's a beautiful thing. And they stopping us from moving here at the Hip Hop Uncensored Podcast live on this Friday evening. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that notification bell. We got our brothers in the building yeah. like we do every Friday. Kansu the God, CEO of Aboriginal Consultant out in Chicago. And our brother Darren Marion, CEO of Vertel SEO out of Indiana. Brothers, how y'all doing this evening? Go, man. You're doing wonderful, man. Right, life. man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Happy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, get to the black man, like like Billy the King said, man. Yeah, man. Well, it's Financial Fridays. We're gonna get to our special announcement real, real soon. But the people in the chat room, when you're coming in, man, drop your area codes, and we'll definitely be able to um, shout those out momentarily here on the podcast. And always smash that like button too as you come in. As you know, man, that's um you can you can do us a favor by doing that. But um the economy, fellas. Let's start off with the economy because before we got in here tonight. We were kind of just going back and forth about the economy and all these jobs now. People just sitting home, just waiting 
to go back to work. But in the meantime, you know, bills are piling up. Things are not stopping. You know, kids are eating up everything. You know, the economy's still moving, you know, for certain people. Um, what do you see happening now, man? Because we want to definitely give the people every week an update on, you know, because you guys are financial guys and you can give them a forecast of what you see about to happen in the next six weeks here in the United States of America, man. What do you, what do you brothers think? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, there. 